Bernadette Stannis, best known for her role as Thelma Evans on the groundbreaking television series Good Times, has led a life filled with both triumphs and challenges. Her journey from a young girl with big dreams in Brooklyn, New York, to becoming a beloved television icon is a testament to her talent, resilience, and determination. Here, we explore Stannis' early life, career highlights, struggles, and the reasons behind her enduring fame. Bernadette Stanislaus, known professionally as Bernadette Stannis, was born on December 22, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York. Growing up in the Brownsville neighborhood, Stannis was exposed to the arts at an early age. Her mother, a homemaker, and her father, a maintenance man, encouraged her artistic pursuits, recognizing her natural talent and enthusiasm for performance. Stannis attended the prestigious High School of Performing Arts in Manhattan, where she honed her skills in acting and dance. Her education at this institution, which inspired the hit movie and television series Fame, provided her with a solid foundation in the performing arts and opened doors to the entertainment industry. In 1974, at the age of 20, Bernadette Stannis was cast as Thelma Evans on the CBS sitcom Good Times. Created by Eric Monty and Mike Evans and produced by Norman Lear, Good Times was one of the first television shows to depict a working-class African-American family. The show quickly became a cultural phenomenon, and Stannis' portrayal of Thelma, the smart and spirited daughter of Florida, and James Evans, made her a household name. Stannis starred alongside a talented ensemble cast, including Esther Roll, John Amos, Jenny Walker, Ralph Carter, and Jeanette Dubois. Her character, Thelma, was celebrated for her beauty, intelligence, and strong moral values, making her a role model for young African-American women. The chemistry between the cast members and the show's humorous yet poignant portrayal of social issues resonated with audiences, solidifying Good Times as a seminal work in television history. Bernadette Stannis' career on Good Times allowed her to work with some of the most influential figures in the entertainment industry. Norman Lear, a legendary producer, was instrumental in creating a platform for African-American actors and addressing social issues through comedy. The show's success also led to guest appearances and collaborations with other notable celebrities and performers of the era. Beyond Good Times, Stannis continued to collaborate with other artists in various projects, including stage plays, television appearances, and independent films. Her ability to adapt to different roles and genres showcased her versatility as an actress and performer. After Good Times ended in 1979, Stannis faced the challenge of being typecast. The strong association with her character, Thelma, made it difficult for her to secure roles that showcased her range as an actress. The entertainment industry's limited opportunities for African-American actresses during that period further compounded her struggles to find substantial and diverse roles. Like many actors who rise to fame at a young age, Stannis experienced financial difficulties. The transition from a steady income as a series regular to sporadic work in an industry with few guarantees presented significant challenges. Managing finances and planning for the future while navigating an unpredictable career path was a constant source of stress. One of the most significant hardships in Stannis' life has been dealing with her mother's battle with Alzheimer's disease. Caring for a loved one with a debilitating illness is an emotionally and physically draining experience. Stannis became an advocate for Alzheimer's awareness, using her platform to educate others about the disease and the importance of support for caregivers. Her experiences caring for her mother were detailed in her book, The Last Night, a caregiver's journey through transition and beyond, which offered a poignant and personal perspective on the challenges of Alzheimer's. Despite these struggles, Bernadette Stannis has shown remarkable resilience. She reinvented herself as an author and motivational speaker, sharing her life experiences and the lessons she has learned along the way. Her books, including Situations 101, Relationships, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and For Men Only, reflect her insights on relationships, 
life, and personal growth. Stannis has also been a vocal advocate for issues close to her heart, including Alzheimer's awareness and the importance of education and empowerment for young women. Her work as a public speaker and advocate has allowed her to connect with a new generation of fans and continue making Stannis fame impact. can be attributed to her exceptional talent, her role in a culturally significant television series, and her ability to navigate and overcome personal and professional challenges. Her portrayal of Thelma Evans on Good Times remains iconic, not just for its entertainment value, but for its representation of a strong, intelligent African-American woman during a time when such portrayals were rare on television. Stannis' openness about her struggles and her efforts to use her experiences to help others have further endeared her to fans. Her advocacy work, literary contributions, and continued presence in the public eye has solidified her legacy as more than just an actress, but as a resilient and inspiring figure. One of the most significant challenges Bernadette Stannis faced after the conclusion of Good Times was typecasting. Despite her undeniable talent and versatility, she found herself pigeonholed into roles that closely resembled her character, Thelma. The strong association with this beloved character made it difficult for her to break free and showcase her range as an actress. During the late 1970s and early 1980s, the entertainment industry offered limited opportunities for African-American actresses. This scarcity of diverse roles further compounded Stannis' struggles to find meaningful work. Although she continued to act in television and theater, the roles were often sporadic and less prominent, leading to a period of professional stagnation. The instability of an acting career, especially after the end of a long-running show, brought financial challenges for Stannis. Transitioning from a regular paycheck on good times to the uncertainty of freelance acting work was a significant adjustment. Managing finances during these unpredictable times was a constant source of stress. Stannis' financial struggles were not uncommon among actors who rise to fame at a young age. The pressures of maintaining a certain lifestyle and planning for future stability, while navigating the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry, added to her burden. One of the most profound personal struggles Bernadette Stannis has faced is her mother's battle with Alzheimer's disease. Caring for a loved one with this debilitating illness is an emotionally and physically exhausting experience. Stannis took on the role of primary caregiver for her mother, a responsibility that deeply impacted her life. The emotional toll of watching her mother's decline, coupled with the physical demands of caregiving, was immense. Stannis has been open about the difficulties of this journey, sharing her experiences to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease and the importance of support for caregivers. Her book, The Last Night, A Caregiver's Journey Through Transition and Beyond, offers a deeply personal account of these challenges and serves as a resource for others facing similar situations. Stannis' personal relationships have also seen their share of difficulties. Balancing a demanding career with the needs of her family and personal life has been a constant struggle. She has faced the typical ups and downs of marriage and parenthood, all while dealing with the public scrutiny that comes with being a celebrity. Despite these numerous struggles, Bernadette Stannis has shown remarkable resilience and determination. She reinvented herself as an author and motivational speaker, using her platform to share her life experiences and offer guidance and support to others. Her books, including Situations 101, Relationships, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and For Men Only, reflect her insights on relationships, personal growth, and overcoming adversity. Stannis' advocacy work, particularly in raising awareness about Alzheimer's disease, has allowed her to connect with a new generation of fans and make a positive impact on society. Her dedication to this cause stems from her personal experiences and her desire to help others navigate the challenges of caregiving Bernadette Stannis' legacy extends beyond her iconic role on Good Times. Her openness about her struggles, coupled with her efforts to use her experiences to help others, has endeared her to fans across generations. Her journey is a testament to the power of resilience, the importance of advocacy, and the impact of using one's platform for good. 
Stannis' ability to navigate the ups and downs of her career and personal life, while remaining a positive and inspiring figure, underscores her strength and determination. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the complexities of fame and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. Bernadette Stannis' life has been marked by significant struggles and challenges, from typecasting and financial difficulties to the emotional and physical toll of caregiving.